County Public School teachers as it relates to House Bill 1084. According to 2022 CCRPI reports, only 62% of our students are achieving at the level necessary to be prepared for college and career in the content area of U.S. history. Approximately 34% of our African American students and 31% 30, of our Hispanic students achieved a level of proficiency or higher on the U.S. history state assessment. Whereas 82% of our white students achieved a level of proficiency or higher on the 2022 state U.S. history assessment. You're probably wondering, what does this have to do with House Bill 1084? Well, it has a lot to do with it because it impacts how the teachers teach the standards, which in turn impacts student performance on the state assessments. As a former school administrator, I have seen firsthand what happens when a teacher does not have the necessary supports to teach the standards. Either the standards are not taught or they are not taught at the level of rigor that's required for success on the state test. This, of course, is a disservice to our students because you can't learn what you've never been taught. To ensure our students are taught at the level that allows them to be successful, teachers need to know that they are supported in teaching what House Bill 1084 deems as divisive. According to one of the Georgia U.S. history standards, students are asked to explore the relationship between slavery, growing North and South divisions, and westward expansion that led to the outbreak of the Civil War. And as you can see, the standard requires students to think critically about concepts which may lead to discourse that House Bill 1084 views as divisive. We must support our teachers as they challenge our students to strategically and critically explore topics addressed in the state standards. A way to demonstrate support is by communicating a district-wide position on House Bill 1084 or by providing resources that support teachers in teaching the standards that House Bill 1084 regards as divisive. The NAACP Education Committee would like to inform you of our availability to partner with the district to ensure that authenticity and fidelity of training is available for our teachers. Thank you for your time and attention to this matter. Have a great evening. And thank you, Ms. Tate Hogan. Lance Hammonds, Deidre Wright, Carla Weston Brown, and Albert Fields. Good evening, uh, Board Chair DaCosta, Vice Chair Pierce, Superintendent, and other board members. My name is Lance Hammonds, and I serve as President for the NAACP DeKalb County Branch. I come to you today on a matter that you not create on your own. Uh, this is due to the new Protect Students First Act, previously known as HB 1084. We believe this new law hampers teachers and school districts from telling the complete truth about black history. <clears throat> Our position, the NAACP DeKalb along with the NAACP's Legal Defense Fund is opposed to any law including Georgia, Georgia's Protect Students First Act which seek to whitewash history, to rewrite history, to restrict the teaching of truth of our history and to punish teachers for te teaching the truth of our history. Our true history is under attack. It is imperative that our students learn the truth about history so they can create a better future. We trust that, we trust that our professional educators can teach sensitive subjects without hampering or harming our students. We believe that none of our teachers would, 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 would history shame a student into feeling uncomfortable about learning the truth about history. The NAACP is here today to communicate to this Board of Education and to the district that the NAACP is with you. As long as you are teaching the truth, we're behind you. So don't be fearful of whatever comes around. Teach our children the truth about their history so they can do a better job with it in the future. We, you will have the support of the NAACP. We will rally the support of the community behind you as long as you're teaching the truth of our, of our history to our students, and we believe you can, 
and that's our primary reason for being here, being here, because we know you did not create this law, but you will have to implement it and monitor it. So again, teach the truth. We got your back. Protect our teachers. We trust you. Thank you. And thank you, Mr. Hammonds. Deidre Wright. Good evening, board members. I come to request that it become mandated for all schools, especially high schools in Georgia, to implement African American studies courses, Asian study courses, and Latin X study courses. They're in the catalog, and my request is for you guys to mandate those courses for every high school to carry those courses. Um, when we talk about divisive concepts, not speaking on people's identities and their struggles is silencing them. And that is child abuse, and that's a divisive concept. So I'm just calling for, for you guys to operate in a sound and logical way and make, these, um, make our schools safe for all children, right? So that's it, real simple. Thank you, Ms. Wright. Albert Fields. George Washington is considered the father of democracy in America. He signed the Declaration of Independence affirming that all men were created equal. But did he really believe that? Or better still, how do you explain, if he believed it, that he had over 300 Africans he enslaved on his lavish plantation? 41 of the 56 signers of the Declaration of Independence also forced Africans to be slaves on their land. And 12 of America's presidents, including Ulysses S. Grant, enslaved Africans for their own bidding. As Martin Luther King put it, America has been a schizophrenic personality. On the one hand, she has proudly professed the high values in the Declaration. On the other hand, she has sadly practiced the very opposite of those principles. And Georgia House Bill 1084 is a continuation of that schizophrenic personality. This law, more accurately titled the Protect White Students First Act, makes it illegal to discuss these important points about the foundation of America. The NAACP DeKalb branch is opposed to this bill or any other bill that chokes the education system and demands that we offer our children a trickle-down, diluted history just to maintain the myths of this country. We are here to encourage this school district to have healthy discussions about the true history of America. There are good parts, there are bad parts, and there are some ugly parts that need to be discussed. Our students need a safe and collaborative space to discuss them, and school is a great place to do it, especially in a predominantly black school district. Black history is American history, but under HB 1084, our history becomes illegal in many cases because some students may feel uncomfortable hearing about the con contributions of others. The whole point of education is to help bring you out of ignorance, and yet we find ourselves slipping back into the darkness of the Jim Crow era because of the bill like HB 1084. George Washington might have confessed that he chopped down the cherry tree, but I can't find one quote from him about his role in slavery. Lincoln is given credit for something he didn't do. He did not free any slaves. We also have got to do more than talk about Martin Luther King and his dreams. He also talked about reparations, but that fact seems to be outlawed in HB 1084. History didn't start yesterday, nor in 1619 for black people, and we want this school district to teach those facts for all to understand. We oppose HB 1084, its attack on black history, and we want you to oppose it also. And thank you, Mr. Fields. Ms. Smith, D. Smith. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I want to thank each board member 
for the hard work you do, uh, educating our kids. We appreciate you. I know sometimes it seems we don't, but we appreciate you. But we want you to be aware of a national movement afoot to undermine all of your hard work. House Bill 1084, which is also known, it has other names, is called the Anti-CRT Bill, the Putting Students First Bill, the Anti-Woke Bill, the Anti-Diversity Bill, but regardless of the name, it's all the same thing. Now, the purpose of this bill, including 1084, is to kill, to rewrite the truth of history, to whitewash history, and to punish any educator, including you, who tries to teach the truth of history. Now, the purpose is to eliminate the teaching of black history, to eliminate the truth. We can't and won't allow this because we are our history our history defines us. Our history explains why some things are the way they are. Now, students are aware they're not being taught the truth. Some have resorted to doing their own research, developing their own curriculums, and taking direct action. House Bill 1084 is so vague Teachers don't know what they can and what they cannot say in the classroom. So they exercise caution to save their jobs. And let's be honest, 1084 is a direct attack on black people, an attack on black history, an attack on the lives and the experiences of black people. It may be black history today, but tomorrow it might be Jewish history, Latino history, Irish history, or so on. They came for me this morning. Will they come for you next? Now, what we want from the Board of Education, we want you to continue providing quality education, to continue to support the teaching of the truth, to continue to support teaching teachers who teach history's truth. To show you how crazy this movement is, uh, Georgia has been following Florida. Florida recently enacted House Bill 999. Turn it upside down, I won't say no more. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Smith, and thank you to all of our speakers this evening.